We're with Charlene Wayne, star of BBC One's The Apprentice and salon owner. So did you pick up any skills while you were on The Apprentice that you can apply here in the salon? I picked up so many skills whilst I was on The Apprentice. Um, so many different elements from advertising to the computer system. I'd say every single week was a massive learning curve. And I was going to ask you, what, what's been the most difficult? So being a mum, three kids, being on The Apprentice, running a salon or being in the Navy? <laughs> being in the boardroom. Being in the boardroom, yeah. <laughs> I would actually say that being in the boardroom has been way more pressure than I felt anywhere else, and that's the truth. Was the experience to you worth doing? I mean, are you happy you went on it? Are you pleased? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm over the moon, to be honest. Um, I never even thought I'd get to the week I'm in now. I thought, personally, to build my own profile, I'll go there and do all the other candidates' hair. I thought I'll be doing the girls' pin-ups. Yeah, well, this is what I thought. I thought <laughs> I'd be doing the girls' pin-ups and people would be like, oh, Charlene, the hairdresser on telly. That's, that was my impression of doing it. No way, not one of those girls would let me do their hair. Really? No, 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 no. They wouldn't want you to build your own reputation, would they? Oh, it would be my dream to live in a house yeah, with a hairdresser, I'm yeah. telling you. Oh, see, no, it's okay if it's off camera, but as oh, okay. soon, soon as camera's on or it's for a task, no, they don't, want you, they don't want any of your work Was to come out. Was there anyone that you were living with in the house that you would have given a hair makeover to? They all had gorgeous hair. I mean, oh. I did used to cut the lads out all the time. Um, I didn't have scissors with me. They got me cutting hair with a facial trimmer. They had their eyebrows threaded every single boardroom day. So I was doing that, I was threading their cheeks, <laughs> threading their forehead, McGinn was the worst. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you always looked great on The Apprentice. So if oh, you were you. <laughs> going to hire somebody to come and work in your salon, what are you looking for? You know, in terms of how they should be dressed and stuff. Do you have any advice for people that want I to? I think to? wear what you feel comfortable in, um, and so you can bring out your own character. When you can see someone's personality isn't shining through with how they're dressing, I think that really does reflect. So I think it's really important to, you know, come along in something that you want to, but make sure it's smart and in an industry where you've got clients yeah. and you need to make sure that... You look professional. Yeah, yeah, you look professional for them.